What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaiju number eight. Today we're doing episodes three and four. Very excited. Love the concept. Love the character so far in the show. Um, super eager, super excited. Don't forget if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions as well as early access and the uncuts of the other movies, shows, everything we do on the channel, check out that Patreon links are down below. We're also live on Twitch watching this. It's always a vibe watching this live with you guys. So twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius, come on over. If you guys don't mind, check out my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Not gonna waste any more time. Kaiju number eight. Uh, episodes three and four let's do it all right here we go episode three you'll move it herself and she most certainly did whatever clothes she's wearing i need to order me a couple of pairs got you girly i will remember that Kafka, you dumb dumb. You're not supposed to be just lifting car. Don't be all gangster like that. Remember the name, kiddo. Hey, okay, we got our first rival in here. Okay. I'm saying, Ichikawa, get this man in line. All right, episode three, revenge match. You're supposed to be the fit god, Mr. Kaiju. Maybe, I wonder if you could do like maybe just your fingers, you know, as Kai, I don't know. Hey man, I'm getting right there with you. Don't say that, cause I gotta start working out as soon as I'm healed, man. Two nineteen out of two twenty-five is so bad. Of course, Shinomiya got fifth. Yeah, I do respect that. Touche. Touche. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to say that. <laughs> Interesting. Izumo. Fitness exam rank two? Who's ahead of him? Iharu? Powerhouse. Third. Looks like Kurabara with that hair. Ao Kugaragi. Ah, I gotta get all these names. At one. We have quite the crop of applicants this year. California? Okay, US. Youngest. Oh. Alright, of course it's Shino. Remember the name, huh? Everyone's looking at her as a rival. God, our waiters beat the shit out of him. Bro, that was the fastest punch I've ever seen. That was hilarious. Talk your shit, Kafka, but you gotta back it up just a little bit. Come on. Well, that's the one thing we're experts in. Fair point. Also makes sense. Third division. Oh, Vampire Boy. Okay, Hoshina. I gotta make sure to get all these names uh, during my editing. I'm getting huge My Hero vibes from these exams, you know? Physical, aptitude, and you have these specialized areas where you can practice and not have to worry about anything, you know? And we have a secret power that we're not trying to use. All right, kaiju time. 
prevents it from leaving this door. Once you're in there, you're screwed, but there's no way of them getting out. State of the art. I like that. Well, Shinomiya has her own, but these are the official things you're going to be wearing, which will definitely allow you to be much stronger, much more mobile. Oh, that's cool. Like nanotech. Kaiju muscle fibers? Wow. One applicant a year above 10 is lucky. That's what I was saying. Quite the crop. It's going to be Shinomiya because she has her own exosuit. She's. Yeah, she's already well attuned to stuff like this, you know? She has an advantage. You don't have a zero at this point, you pass. And Kafka's gonna have a zero. <laughs> I feel bad for my man. I wonder if you transform into a kaiju underneath it, like just your body, not your head in the suit. I wonder what would happen. He thinks he's like faking, waiting. I don't know. He did fucking lift up a van by himself, you know? All right. Or a Hanju and 36 Yoju. Damn. Well, they're real deal. Very high tech. I like this concept a lot. We'll try to, you know, force your shield out of need, but you can't guarantee you're not going to die. Okay, Shinomiya. We're not playing God of War. This ain't no wall running time. This girl's a savage. Talk about motivation. Talk about motivation. Okay. Make up for it in other areas? How so, though? Sometimes you gotta realize you gotta be the support, you know? Every every game needs a healer. See, he has prior experience. That goes a long way. Come on, Kafka. The grenade? a flasher like a stun grenade mm, that would ring its ears for days talk about being a support w kafka oh that blew out you can see his spine <laughs> don't call him shinomiya groupie Like, you're not being a star-studded hero right now, but in terms of being a unit that saves people and saves cities from kaiju attacks, this sort of support is so needed. So I'm I'm respecting this right now. Come on, buddy. And I respect that you're trying not to use your power, too. W. Kafka. Oh, as some... Okay. Okay. 
And him not drawing any power out of that. Yeah, that's going to hurt like hell. They're going to try to forcefully activate his shield. Is that Chinomiya? The third time I've showed you up today. When I'm on the battlefield, nobody got like that. Roasting him. Possibly organ damage. We cannot allow you to continue to participate. On a broken leg and everything. Internal organs ruptured. His music is hitting right now. Sees the determination in his eyes. That episode went by fast. Alright, this is episode four. Ishikawa being the goat. Hell yeah, he's a legend. Ishikawa is a real one for that. <laughs> you can be our legs. That would definitely be a little bit easier with the 8% combat ability he's got from that. Eat my dust. Okay, Shino Mia. She is too disgusting. She's nice at it. Sometimes you don't even need the gun. Sometimes she'll just pretty fucking knock your head off. Literally. The last Yoju. Now we just have the one Hanju. Okay, flip grenade throw. Chill out. This girl is a savage. Where was she in Godzilla? Look at this. He's single handed. She probably took down, of the 36 Yoju, probably took down like 20. And then the Hanju, the single one, she took down all that by herself. That was supposed to be a team coordinated effort work. Like, what the hell? They were not able to show off their facts. Yeah. I could definitely see her defending cities being like a platoon leader, a captain, whatever. Definitely has the makings for a great kaiju defense agent. I love the shot of. Hmm. Papa. Want to know more about her motivation? I love that shot of the clouds reflecting in her eyes. What in the hell was that? Are we gonna... What the hell? she okay? What in the hive mind regenerative yoju? Does a kaiju have the power to do something like that? Man got the finger blick. Yeah, get the drones back out there. Get Mina out there. And then it just disappears in the smoke. Oh, hell no. What was that? It's more powerful now that it's revived.
It's significantly stronger now. And she is on the verge of collapse. Yeah, I like how it doesn't heal your wound, but it definitely closes... Not closes the wound, but stops the bleeding. Somewhat of a suture. suture. I like that. I get, like, Annie vibes from her with her motivation to want to please her dad. She just got fucking launched. Girlie, are you okay? No, she's not okay. I wonder if she wanted admiration like that just to be noticed from her father. Her father wants perfection. She's not even, he's not even there. Reminds me a lot of uh, Kaguya's situation with her family and Kaguya-sama. There's a lot of, you know, kids like that who grew up in super wealthy, well-off households who have better relationships with their butlers than they do with their own parents. Sounds like Endeavor's voice actor. He does look like Sebas. Your late mother's sake. The never ending motivation to be perfect for her late, her, her dead mom, an inspiration of her father, for the sake of their country. Girlie, you can't even carry your gun anymore. Oh! It's either going to be Mina and Hoshino, or it's going to be Kafka and Ichikawa. I love the way they animated that. And of course, that's the sound as badass as possible. Don't end the episode there, thank the lord. Exactly, he does not hesitate when it comes to life or death. Why Kafka's that man. Like, long story. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Kafka. Fortitude 9.8. Comparable to the 6.4 that they just said they would need an entire command force for. All right, Kafka. Locked himself with a jet propulsed punch? Who are you feeling like, Saitama? He literally blew his skin off his bones. No diddy. What is up with Kafka standing in rain of blood? The music is hitting right now. Now I want to see him versus the motherfucker who just revived. Wait, what? Yeah, I was completely. I... Thank you. I didn't even notice the one behind us. He literally bitch smacked it into pieces. Bro, I really enjoy the way they animate his transformations, whether it's to and from kaiju form. Ichikawa. <laughs> She's her body's gone through the ringer. She needs to go unconscious and wake up and think it was all a dream. None of this happened. <laughs> God damn, we gotta take her to an infirmary though. She is fucked up. That one that he did in that second episode. Yeah, 
there's a lot of questions i love how how confused and perplexed they are i love how confused and perplexed i am what was that motherfucker with the finger guns bro When he gets serious, he gets kind of serious, you know? Very, very true. Should not deter you, though. Right? Gotta keep fighting no matter what. Is listening to this. so formal of course all right he wanted you know he doesn't feel like he's earned talking to her as an equal yet i fuck with Kaf kafka and ichikawa a lot so far and i like shinomiya damn talk about good tech Say you fell unconscious, you didn't see what happened. So she clearly does remember Kafka. Is she gonna snitch though? I don't think she's going to. W Shinomiya. W Girly. This guy's over here listening to the news on his iPod Touch in a bathroom stall. Still talking about Kafka, Kaiju number eight. What number is this dude? Kafka's not the only human Kaiju? Or maybe he's a Kaiju that just takes a human form? He's a part of the disposal units? New kid. Oh, this season might be a banger. I like this so far. Well, we did the exam. I got a lot of My Hero Academia vibes from that exam in terms of we did horribly, just in terms of the aptitude physical. I, well, aptitude, I don't really know, but I wonder if us helping Shinomiya and the way Deku helped Uaraka during that exam is going to help us get in or win Oshino and Mina's favor. Um, she did personally come to thank us, which even that in and of itself is, is big. She seems very closed off emotionally, you know, very shut off, walled up. So I loved, I loved Kafka transforming and him taking out the Kaiju and the, and the, yo, uh, the Honju and the Yoju. But I want to know who this new guy is at the disposal, who is clearly another one, which kind of leads us back to Kafka turning into a kaiju in the first place. What was that thing that slithered down his throat? No, Diddy, that turned him into. Is there more? Is it like the Akatsuki or the Phantom Troop of Kaiju? Ah, like I'm so curious. He's literally sitting there listening. He's like, no, zero casualties. I swear, I just read that. I revived that motherfucker. There's no way zero. I had to have miscounted. And he's like, well, I wonder if someone's that strong. I wonder, does he know of other human impersonating kaiju? Is this like a thing? I know Kafka is kaiju number eight. So there's others that obviously have gone like, mm, I need more lore. I need more answers. But right now, I'm loving the show. The schedule I have for anime in terms of Bleach, One Piece, Kaiju, Konosuba, Slime, Demon Slayer, My Hero, Mushoku Tensei, Windbreaker. Go go loser! I'm literally watching ten shows right now. Like this, I have such a good schedule. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access and uncuts to the other shows and movies I'm watching. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Apple Squad. I appreciate you. Look out for kaiju's. Seriously.